Well, the city of Cleveland Heights is showing big pride for the Kelsey brothers all week long. Travis and Jason Kelsey, of course, are facing off this Sunday in Super Bowl 57. This is the first time in the history of the Super Bowl that brothers have played against one another in the big game. And today, our Lindsey Buckingham talked with a few of Jason's former teachers and say who they say, you know, seeing them reach this kind of success, it's it's really surreal for them. The team spirit. It's a wonderful thing. Everywhere at Cleveland Heights High School. I'm proud of you. Lights, signs, shirts, even garbage cans representing the Eagles and the Chiefs. You see, in this school, they're not only rooting for brothers Travis and Jason Kelsey, who face off in the Super Bowl this Sunday. You know, that's a name that just gets thrown around here a lot. <laughs> Two very some of the best players that I've ever seen. They're cheering on a pair of Cleveland Heights graduates who have the whole school behind them. Travis was uh, a member of one of my classes his senior year. Social studies teacher Mark Sack taught Travis Kelsey back in 2008. He brought an interesting perspective to things, social issues. He says the two sometimes butted heads, but when the Kansas City Chiefs tight end was inducted into his high school Hall of Fame a few years back. I just look at Mr. Sack. Mr. Sack, I apologize. <laughs> I see it now. I see it now. That's all I gotta say. It's all good here because the Kelsey brothers are doing good off the field, too. They're doing a lot of good for uh, disadvantaged youth, creating opportunities uh, for both hope and practical skills. Jerome White had Travis in art class. He says he always knew the Kelsey brothers had talent and heart. It's always good to see when your students go on and, and achieve higher, you know, higher goals, things that you never expect and they, you know, they succeed. In the meantime, come Sunday, the Kelsey brothers don't have to worry about hometown support. Go Kelsey brothers! Good luck Sunday night! <laughs> and you are getting a live look right now at the Kelsey brothers sign right outside Cleveland Heights High School. Of course, they have their numbers 87 and 62. The pride is here right now, especially inside that school. And Jay and Christy, come Sunday, it's Light the Heights, where all the community members are going to put a light on their front porch displaying whatever team mm. they decide to support. But one thing is for sure, both brothers are being represented and also very, very loved. It's funny to hear Travis say that to his teacher because there's a famous story where Travis really gives credit to his brother Jason for saving his career. They both went to the University of Cincinnati, played on the team together. Jason got into some trouble his freshman year. The coach called him in and said, you are <laughs> off the team. You will never play another snap here. Instead of transferring, he said, I'm going to stay here and work my tail off. Jason then went to the coach for Travis and said, he's got it together. He's figured it out. Give him another chance. They did. And look where they are now. It, Crazy. It, you know, it's one of those moments when you listen to him and you think, who would I apologize to? <laughs> <laughs> My list is long. My right? list is long. Probably somebody. <laughs> I was that guy in high school. It was, it was cool was, hearing that, too. It was it? funny. Yeah. It was great. Oh, yeah, Lindsay. because, you know, it, it shows their humble side. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, it also is kind of a message for those that might veer off the path yeah. that, look, clearly by his own admission, Travis did. But he was able to find the right path again through hard work and dedication. He is, dare I say it, in my view, the best tight end that's ever played in the National Football League. Wow. And he will wow. absolutely end his career in the Hall of Fame. And I think Jason will as well. What an honor. I think what's really awesome. impressive is that one couldn't have done it without the other almost. It's great. Really, I love which it. Is, they, they will share this regardless. Oh, Lindsay, thank you so much. What a great story.